Welcome to my super messy studio. Today we're going to do a little bit of watercolor and I preface this by saying I know almost nothing about watercolor. I'm learning, I'm watching a zillion YouTube videos and I'm just playing. I'm just playing with different techniques and watching people um, do different things and uh, hoping that things come out okay. And this is my view to the left while I paint. Isn't it awesome? So we're going to do a sort of an antique butterfly. An antique butterfly with um, watercolors and a rubber stamp. I have a photopolymer butterfly stamp. It's actually filled in quite a bit. It's not quite the outline that I would like, but something magical happened when I used it. So um, we're also going to use this Stampin' Up um, Creamy Caramel. This is a water-based dye ink, and I think that is the trick um, because it acts almost as its own water color. And we're just going to ink that up pretty good. This is a really, really light, light color. So we're just going to stamp this right onto the watercolor paper in what is hopefully a squared off area. And that's all I really want is, oops, moving the camera. That's all I really want is um, kind of an outline. And now I'm going to paint each quadrant of the, I'm going to wet each quadrant of the butterfly's wings, leaving a space in between because I don't want it to uh, bleed all together. We're going to do a drop, we're going to drop blue onto the wet red. But as you can see, once I add water to this butterfly, the wet the water-based ink uh, becomes very uh, dissolves, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to take some red and just drop it right there. And then I'm going to pull it out. But as you can see, because it's wet into wet, it's going to do its own work. It's going to do its own thing. And that's all we're going to do there. We're going to add one little buff on the end. I think that looks good. And we're going to do the other quadrant over here. And again, it doesn't seem to matter that this stamp has dried. As soon as you put water on it, it reactivates the ink. It almost makes it look antiqued, which I'm really liking. All right, we're going to pick up a little dot of red. Use that there and give it a couple of pull-throughs. Put that on the end. Wet my brush. Dot my brush off. Do a different quadrant, and I'm leaning in, hopefully not in your way, but I'm trying to make sure that the two wet areas don't touch on the bottom. Here I'm trying to leave this a dry little, little canyon in there to keep the water from, to keep the colors from mixing. And a couple drops here, and I'm going to leave the bottom of it alone. Oops. Well, that canyon didn't quite work. I've touched the other side. I see what happens. I am still learning all of this. It's all new. And 
I'm going to get some phthalo blue. Is it phthalo blue I want? Can you see what I'm... You can't even see what I'm doing on my palette! Alright, so I'm trying to mix some color on the palette. And I still haven't really learned my colors yet. I think that's phthalo blue. Which is really, really pretty blue. And we're going to drop that on top of the pink. Just like that. And watch what it does. This is the coolest thing about watercolors is that you don't have to do much. And another little drop right oh you need a drop of water. Too big of a drop. Well, we've just flung water onto the dry area. Let's pick that up. A little bit more blue. Move that out. That's probably a little bit too much blue. Dry my brush. My brush off and just pick it up. Isn't that awesome? Love watercolors. All right, I'm going to activate a little bit of this. It's called neutral tint. It doesn't. It looks black to me, but that is the color neutral tint. I'm just going to try to smush some of that around. We're going to paint this dry, so dry paper, wet brush, but this is going to come out pretty dark. And I'm just going to go straight up the body. And I need a much thinner brush for those little, those little antennas. So we're going to switch over to a zero brush. Pick up a tiny bit of the neutral color. And just kind of paint over that little tiny antenna. Just going to do two things. It's going to lay down a little bit of the neutral color, but it's also going to um, activate the the ink underneath, the creamy caramel from the um, rubber stamp. I've just cleaned off my brush, so now it's just water. And I've, I've tapped off all the extra water because I really want to move this around a little bit and give his body some shape. I also really want the, um, the watercolor to be gradient. Don't I sound like I know what I'm talking about? I don't know anything. I am just playing. So that's the beginning of my butterfly, which looks kind of like this butterfly. And I haven't done anything with background colors yet because I'm still pretty excited about what I'm doing this way. Oops, got some water. Water on the background. Okay, I have to say, I'm really liking the effect.